report shows almost no racial profiling by police in California, but is already being called into question. It produced numbers so low, the board overseeing the numbers wants law enforcement agencies to encourage people to come forward. And critics argue it also paints a picture of law enforcement protecting their own and not addressing the big problem. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm joins us live with a closer look at this report. Rob? Yeah, that's right. It's an interesting story. Good evening, Tony and Sharin. You know, community activists and leaders enjoy having uh, transparency from law enforcement agencies, but only if there's some truth in those numbers. I'm going to give you a picture of what's going on in California. A well-produced video sells the merits of the RIPA board. But we really need to know the truth. It began in July of 2016, part of AB 953, the Racial and Identity Profiling Act. Well, we're very transparent. As you know, we're committed to transparency with our community. The second report made public is exhaustive, 83 pages long, and critics argue it doesn't paint an accurate picture of what's going on in California. Page 40 indicates that out of 18 complaints, Sacramento Police had no reports of racial profiling. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. How can you not have racial profiling in 2017? At Monday's Sacramento Community Police Review Commission meeting, Deputy Chief Ken Bernard says internal affairs complaints were miscategorized. Because we didn't include our informal inquiries, that's why our numbers are so low. We just, we just included what's standardized and which is our formal complaints. The report also indicates the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department received 325 complaints with 10 reports of racial profiling. The Sheriff's Department is double the size and activists say they're still a big problem. We haven't yet had the kind of proof to let us know that we can really trust the data and the process and I have a lot of questions. In California, 17% of law enforcement agencies registered not one single complaint in 2017. Betty Williams says it's unrealistic and reporting the numbers needs to change. If you never get a ticket but you're getting stopped every time you go to your own driveway 20 times in a year, that's racial profiling. Why wouldn't you document that? Now, the Ripper Report will be on the agenda for the next police board services meeting here at City Hall. We saw a handful of protesters tonight, and they plan to return as they flesh out those numbers.